Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, the first episode of The Unboxing. My name is uh, Bob Eubanks, Bob, Bob Banner, and um, here's my co-host. Ah, that old, that old, that old Furious, that young old Furious. So, uh, today's episode in the unboxing, we're going to be looking at... Uh, this product here. Well, first of all, let's let's give them uh, the tutorial of the show. We are, what the show's is, about. What okay. the show's about. This the is, unboxing. What we do here is um, we open shit up, basically. <laughs> we open shit up. So, um, you know, we review different products, different things, and um, yeah, we open it up. And it could so, be anything. It could be anything. We'll open shit up. So if you need something opened up, drop us a comment. You know, and we'll, we'll be more than happy to take a look Check at what you, you got. In our, uh, in our little, uh, what was it, the uh, suggestion box. <laughs> okay. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, today's product is going to be, uh, it's a Harry Potter Death Eater Wand Swirl. Death Eater Wand Swirl. Take a look at that. I don't know if you uh, could really see. see that. Take a look at that. Death Eater Wand Swirl. Let's see if I can give them a better. Take a good look at that product. Look. Death product. Eater Wand Swirl. Yeah. And this is a uh, this is a this is a Harry Potter product. If you're not familiar who Harry Potter is, uh, Harry Potter is a wizard. A young wizard, not even not a not even a magician. No, he's not a magician. He's a young wizard. Doesn't he do should be tricks. He is a wizard. If you're familiar with you know pop culture, then you're, you're very aware of who Harry Potter is. Yeah. Harry Potter was a wizard. He had that the battle with the uh, Voldemort. Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort. You're supposed to say his name. You're not supposed to say his name. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna take a look at this uh, wand. And um, let's let's jump right into it. The box is well constructed, as you can see. Well constructed, pretty nice box, pretty sturdy. You have a uh, photo of a, a a death adder here. What is it? Do you do you even know what a death adder is? What is a death adder? That's uh, uh, I mean I I would believe that he is a bringer of death. Makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> Bringer sounds, of death. Sounds about right. Sounds about you know? right. And he okay. utilizes the Death Eater wand. Mm. So, uh, and uh, they, they say uh, swirl. I don't understand what the swirl is about. So, because gonna... I've watched every Harry Potter movie and I don't, I don't think I've ever seen them swirl. I'm afraid. I Actually, I think Voldemort's uh, he swirls his his wand was kind of like not really a swirl, but kind so of so maybe the like a bend. oh so we're talking about the con actual construction maybe it's of the, the construction wand. of the wand possibly we're gonna, get, we're gonna get into the wand in a moment we'll get into that it's uh it's from the Noble Collection right this is an official collector's wand authentic recre uh, recreations as seen in the Harry Potter films and this is for ages. 14 and up so they do have a stamp of authenticity they do and so if you're Okay, so if you're not at least 14 years of age, I would not recommend this product for you because no. <laughs> I guess they don't want the magics Unleashed in the wrong hands That makes sense to me so if I you're mean, 14 and if you're I, not I that clearly yeah if you're not at least 14 years of age, please do not pick up this uh, Death Eater wand. Now, Bob, what I, what, uh, not for nothing, what I did notice on the back, on the reverse side of the packaging, right. there are three wands. Oh, yeah. On the, uh, I don't know if they could see that. There are three different types of three wands. Different types the, of wands. On the back of the on box. On the back of the box. So I don't know if those are, those are other wands. Right, yes. So the way that they that have it set up, collect. this would be, of course, this would be Harry's wand. This would be uh this would be uh what's the name of the, the grand wizard guy? Oh uh, man. His name escapes me. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. So this would be Dumbledore's Harry's Dumbledore. And <laughs> Her Hermione. <laughs> Hermione. That would be her. Uh and I'm a great Quidditch player. I just throwing that out there. Awesome Quidditch player. You you play Quidditch? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
I like catch that. the stitch every time. Oh, really? I catch him. I catch him. <laughs> so without further ado, we're gonna get into the box. Um, let me get into this one. Oh wow! Oh, comes with the. Uh, oh wow! It's in a velvet. What is that velvet? What is, what is that velvet? Yeah, it's in a velvet kind of a case here. A velvet casing. Take a look at that. It's velvet casing. And um, let me see if I could. Uh, let me see if I can bring it a little bit closer to the yeah. without Take, it Give them a look at the, that. Uh, that's a velvet package. It's a velvet case. That is a velvet casing. Um, the wood. Now that um, I think these are handcrafted. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. It doesn't. Could specify. be, but it, it 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 does look as though it was crafted by hand and by the hand of a um, I would say a very skilled. Okay. Okay. Let me take a look um, at that. Let me take a, a look at that. Very skilled marks. Uh, a, a, a wizard, I would say. A wizard. Okay. This wood. This could be oh, a wow. birch wood. It has some weight to it. This could. Oh, this is nice. This feels good. This feels good. Uh, this could be a birch wood or a uh, maybe an oak. Looks like okay. it's hand painted here. It's very sturdy. Very sturdy. Uh, very sturdy. No. It has no. an interesting design here. This looks like a Death Eater. And there's a snake doing this coily thing. The swirl. He's doing a swirl. The snake is actually doing the swirl. Now, and, and it seems as though that is a, uh, is that a skull? Yes, yeah, it looks like a skull with some type of uh, starfish embedded in its forehead. Sometimes called the crown. Oh my goodness! The attention to detail in the authenticity is phenomenal. It's unbelievable. It's unmatched. It's unmatched. It's this is this is this is so, really. So now my question is a nice piece of work. I think, it's, um, what I'm told, this is how it should be held. Zap, zap. zap. <laughs> okay. Expelliarmus. <laughs> is that what they say? Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Uh, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Hold on, baby. <laughs> it's you want to give it a swirl? Let me you see if I can give it a swirl. Spell it's, possi it's possible that I might be able to. Excellent craftsmanship. Excellent craftsmanship. Now, it's you, a death you, are, you, are, you are correct when saying there is some weight to it. Yeah, it definitely has some good good weight to uh, it. It's a solid, some, solid piece. They have some uh, inscriptions. There are some inscriptions. I wasn't aware. Uh, what did his inscription there, say? I see T, M, and a C um, embedded in a circle. It kind of reminds me of, um, what, what movie was that? Conan the Barbarian? With the snake. With the snake. With the sun. With two snakes coming to go over. over coming together. Coming together over a black sun. Yes, a black over a black sun. sun. A black sun. Yeah, I'm familiar. I'm familiar with that. Yeah, that's that's now that's the feeling that I get. Let me see if I could if I could whip up Extro Expecto Patronum. <laughs> I don't see your Patronum right there. Expecto <laughs> Patronum. Maybe I'm not saying the right the correct incantations. Nah. But it is definitely a lovely piece. Oh, it's an excellent piece. It's, it's a, definitely an excellent it's piece. It's an excellent piece. And, and uh, um, wow. as I said, yeah, this is a official uh, collector's wand. Official collector's now, wand. It, and unfortunately, it does not come with instructions on how to cast your spells. How to unlock the magic. Or to unlock said magic that is within this wand but believe you me there is magic magics are there magics are there um well that kind of wraps it up well, that being said i i kind of rate it i kind of give this um you know I, in in in, uh, in in my in our in our in our rating i'd give it a i'd give it a whopping i'd give it a whopping eight and a half eight and a half out, eight of, and a half out of ten um in terms of craftsmanship and uh you know the actual weight of the item itself but um you know i wish they would have included i would have given them the full 10 had they included uh you know some incantations or uh some sort of spell 
you know, maybe some kind of rinky dink spell that you could do. Yeah, you know, something maybe you could whip up. Pull, pull a pull a rabbit out of a hat, you know. <laughs> but um, I like it. Yeah. So um, all right. Well, I think that kind of wraps it up here for us at the uh, unboxing camp. Tune in to uh, next episode. Where we open up more shit. More shit. Yeah. And uh, again, like we said, we open up anything. I think, I you even open up your mind. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think that was a little, that was a little quirky.